YouTube. What's good, y'all? Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful time of year. Today, April 15th, it is currently 1238 Eastern Time. We are 22 minutes away from the NBA playoffs. I'm going to be bringing you guys my pick em bracket challenge. This is going to be my official NBA playoff bracket, who I think is going to be the champion. And yeah, just my thoughts on a lot of these series. Listen, man, um, I know who I'm picking to win it all. I'm not going to spoil it yet. It's a very difficult decision. I don't know who I'm going to pick for some of these series. I know a lot of them. I know some of them are going to be a toss up. So we're just going to go into it. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. And yeah, we'll just see how it rounds itself out in the end. So we'll start, I guess we'll just go top to bottom. So we'll start in the West here. We've got Denver and Minnesota. Now, Denver obviously holding on to the one seed. They tailed off a bit at the end of the year. And I think it's the reason that Joel Embiid will win the MVP. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, then I'm wrong about that. But it felt like after Denver kind of locked up the one seed, they, they took their foot off the gas pedal a little bit. And um, that's just not, that's not good when you're going into the playoffs. I think you want to be playing your best basketball going into the playoffs. I don't think Denver is doing that. With all that being said, I'm obviously still going to pick them in this series. I'm going to go Denver in five. I think Minnesota can can win a game. Um, I don't think there will be too many sweeps this year, bro. I mean, I think there's a couple possible ones, um, but I don't think there will be too many. I think there's a lot of like just really, really good teams this year. And I think each team will be able to find a way to win at least one game. Moving on, we've got Phoenix and the Clippers. This is, I feel like, quietly the most intriguing first round series in the entire playoffs. The headliner itself should be KD versus Kawhi because um, we've never really gotten that. And these guys are two incredible players, all time greats. But there's just other, there's just so many other storylines too, bro. You've got KD versus Russ. You've got Chris Paul versus the Clippers. I just think it's going to be a really fun series. Who I'm picking to win it, I think I am going to go Phoenix. Um, I'm going to say Phoenix in six. I think that's pretty respectable for the Clippers. Obviously, they're going to be without Paul George for we don't know how long. That's a huge setback because that really limits you defensively. And obviously, you're going to need your best defenders when you're playing against a team that's as offensively potent as the Phoenix Suns. Now, would it surprise me if the Clippers figure it out and somehow win this series? Absolutely not. But... I'm going to pick Phoenix in six. Moving on, we got Sacramento, Golden State. Now, this is one that a lot of people are talking about, obviously. You've got all the talking points. You Sacramento hasn't been to the playoffs since 2006. They're playing last year's champion uh, on top of, you know, an already established dynasty, you know, a team with a lot of championship pedigree. There's really not too much to say here, in my opinion, that like hasn't already been said that if you follow the NBA, you, you've heard everything there is to say about this series. Um, I am going to be picking Golden State. I'm going to be picking Golden State in six. I just think that Golden State's putting it together at the right time. I think, you know, Wiggins coming back is going to be very, very crucial for them slowing down Sacramento which is, you know, Sacramento's not a great defense, but they were the best offense in the league pretty much. They were top three, top four, top five offense all season. So you can't ignore that, but at the same time, um, you can't ignore the championship pedigree of the Golden State Warriors and the fact that they're all healthy. Clay led the league in threes this year. They were playing well towards the end of the season. They've got their full lineup. They got Gary Payton back. They're going to have Wiggins, obviously. So, yep, Golden State in six. Now we move on to Memphis and L.A., another one that everybody and their mother is talking about this is one of the ones for me and it says 53 percent to 47 percent. it really is almost like a 50 50 series to me i think a lot of the biggest questions are how the lakers are going to defend Ja. um are they going to choose to go under screens and force him to shoot are they going to trap him out of pick and rolls like the lakers even though they were the best defensive team since the all-star break they were really below they were a bottom half transition defense meaning that they are really bad in transition and they give up a lot of fast break points. And Memphis is known for getting out in transition and scoring a lot of fast break points. I mean, they have John Morant. They've got all these athletic guys that can get out and run. I feel like if the Lakers don't address that, there's just going to be a lot of times where Jaws just getting out and, you know, putting on a dunk contest in the middle of the game. Like, it's it's that's what the Lakers can't let happen. If they don't let that happen, I think that they can win the series. My pick... If you guys know me, if you guys watch this channel, you know I'm a Lakers fan. That doesn't sway anything here. I just think the Lakers are the better team. I'm going LA in seven. I think, let me rephrase that. I think Memphis is the better team, but I think 
that uh, the Lakers in a seven game series will be able to figure out how to defend Ja. You know, I, I don't think Memphis is going to have a lot of answers defensively for what the Lakers are going to do. They're without Steven Adams. They're obviously without Brandon Clark, who tore his Achilles, unfortunately. So I think they're going to have problems down low. They're going to be asking Jaron Jackson Jr. to do a lot, even though he's the defensive player of the year this year. It's still a lot to ask. So yeah, I think I think at the end of the day, <clears throat> the Lakers will just overwhelm them. Uh, let's just keep rolling with all the first round matchups first, and then we'll move. We'll just keep going. We'll do the semifinals after, and then we'll do the conference finals. So moving on to the Eastern Conference, Milwaukee and Miami in the first round. This is another one where I'm just picking Milwaukee in five. I'm going to give Miami the benefit of the doubt and say they can win one game. I don't know, man. The way Miami looked, they looked decent towards the end of uh, the playing game the other night, the second playing game. But that performance against Atlanta was was really telling of just, you know, the, the flaws that this team has. I think it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be a really interesting offseason for Miami. I think their team is probably going to look a lot different next year. Now we move on to one of the most fun series in the first round, without a doubt, Cleveland versus New York. The storylines here are fun because New York should probably should have traded for Donovan Mitchell and they didn't. And so Cleveland pulled the trigger. This is this is one of those series, man. And it, it's, you know, the fan pick doesn't really say it. The fan pick actually thinks Lakers and Memphis will be closer. I think this series is one of the most toss-up, 50-50 series that there has been maybe in NBA history, man. I really, I know who I'm going to pick. And I just think it's because their their front line of talent is better. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the Cavs in seven. I think that their fur their front line like four best guys are four of like the probably the top six players in this in this series. And while New York has two of those top six guys, they probably have the rest of the top seven or eight. But I think that those top four guys are really gonna matter for Cleveland. I don't know if that made any sense. If you know what I'm talking about, that made sense. But this is going to be a really, really good series, bro. It's going to be a fun series. Two not really fast-paced teams. Two teams that don't really score the ball that much and, you know, like to dig in defensively. So it's definitely going to be interesting and probably the most fun watch in the first round, in my opinion. Philly versus Brooklyn. Um, Not much to talk about here. This is going to be another gentleman sweep for me. I'll give Brooklyn the benefit of the doubt and say they can win one game. Brooklyn, obviously, is only here because KD and Kyrie were on this team for half of the season. And that's not to discredit anything that Mikhail Bridges has done. Spencer Dimley has been solid. Nick Claxton's still been doing his thing. But they just, they just don't have the firepower to um, even have a chance in this series to me. They would have to do some... I was talking about it with my buddy the other day. They would have to just do something crazy. Like, they're going to have to shoot a lot of threes and just hope that they're hitting at, like, an insane clip. Like, I'm talking, like, 50 or 60 threes a game just putting them up and hoping that they're going down. Defending Embiid is going to be a task because Nicholas Claxton is just going to, uh, he's, Embiid's going to use him like a toothpick, man. It, it's going to be bad. Yeah. I don't see a lot of avenues Brooklyn can go. It's going to have to be something crazy. And the final series of the first round, Boston versus Atlanta. Again, another gentleman sweep in Boston's favor. This is probably the one series in the first round where i feel like it has the biggest chance to be a sweep in boston's favor obviously i just think boston i just think a team that has small guards which atlanta has two of and trey and Dejounte, i think that's just a recipe for disaster when you're playing against boston that's it's the best matchup for them just in terms of what they can do defensively i think atlanta's really going to struggle and i'm kind of just going to leave it at that because i'm from atlanta and it's tough to see the hawks it's tough to see what the hawks did a couple of years ago and making it to the conference finals and just not having built on it at all so i'm not going to talk about this series too much all right back to the top in the west with the second round matchup of Denver and Phoenix. Um, I don't know if this pick is going to surprise people at all. I'm taking Phoenix in six. I think, uh, just like I said earlier with Denver, the way that they just kind of fell apart at the end of the year, I think it's really telling. And uh, I'm just kind of worried about them. Phoenix obviously didn't lose with KD in the lineup. They just have so much firepower. I don't know, bro. I just, I don't see a world where... Jokic can keep up defensively and all those pick and rolls it's just going to be an absolute nightmare for him as soon as they get him out on the perimeter um yeah I don't I don't see a world where where Denver beats Phoenix in a seven game series I just don't see it moving on Golden State and LA in the second round another really fun matchup definitely really fun for me these are the two teams I root for the most I'm not going to dive into why if you guys want to know why I root for these teams and come in the stream and ask me or something but I do think I'm leaning towards Golden State I think this is a really really good matchup both ways I think each team can match up with each other really well and counter 
whatever each what each other does well with that being said i'm gonna pick golden state in seven and yeah i think i think this will be a bloodbath of a series like just just each team throwing haymakers back and forth i don't i don't really want to dive too deep into like what i think they're gonna do and how i think they're gonna play it i just i would be so intrigued to watch this series and it would just be a lot of fun that's all i have to say all right moving back down to the eastern conference semifinals we got milwaukee and cleveland um i'm taking milwaukee obviously i think let me think about this one for a second see i told you guys man i'm kind of going into this blind like i i didn't know i know who i who i who i have coming out of each conference but I didn't know the path that they were going to have to take to get there. So I think I'm going to take Milwaukee in six. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I, I think Milwaukee's probably the best team in the East. You know, Cleveland is really good defensively, but I don't think anybody in the league has an answer for Giannis. And then if the Bucks can just get Chris Middleton going, and if he's playing at a high level with what Drew Holiday can bring defensively to guard Donovan Mitchell, I think I think it's a good matchup for Milwaukee. I think, I think they'll win it in six. Now, moving on to Philly and Boston, this will be a really fun matchup. This is one that should happen. If this doesn't happen, then something probably went incredibly wrong for one of these teams. But this will be a good series. I don't really know who I'm going to take in this, to be honest with you. Boston was the best team in the league throughout the year. But something just tells me that this is the year that Joel Embiid makes his run. And I think I'm going to bet on it. Obviously, I'm not actually betting. But I think I'm going to take Philly in this series. I think I'm going to go Philly in seven. Um, I think Joel Embiid is the best player in that series. And that's no disrespect to Jason Tatum at all. Who has the better team? You could probably say Boston has the better roster. Does Philly have the better top six guys maybe i don't know that's that's a toss-up series obviously i'm not going to be surprised if boston wins i just think that this is the year and bead's going to have a run harden's going to like do everything he can to finally break through i think um, i'm taking philly in seven all right and here we are in the conference finals we've got phoenix and golden state matching up in the west which wow and then milwaukee and philly obviously in the east let's start in the west with Phoenix and Golden State, which will just be another absolute bloodbath, if you ask me. Similar to the Lakers and the Warriors. Just two teams with so much offensive firepower. Wow. I, I really don't even know who I'm taking. Coming into this, I I was pretty sure I was going to have the Suns coming out of the West. And now I'm second guessing myself. Because thinking about... I've ne I haven't actually thought about this matchup too much. But thinking about it now, I think, you know, offensively, you could argue... You could argue either way. Phoenix probably has a little more firepower offensively. But defensively, I don't really think it's close. I think Golden State is much better defensively than Phoenix is going to be. I was telling one of my boys, I need this series so badly because the Draymond Green and Kevin Durant matchup will be so much fun. It'll just be so much fun, bro. And they're going to go at each other. They're two really competitive dudes. And you know Draymond's going to do everything anything and everything he can to get under KD's skin oh I need it in my life man I need it in my life I need that matchup but thinking about it sitting here I think I'm gonna pick Golden State I'm gonna take Golden State in seven I think even even though they're not gonna have home court advantage I think that I think they'll be able to do more defensively I think they'll be able to slow Phoenix down more than Phoenix will be able to slow them down and I mean you can talk about the championship pedigree all you want obviously you're gonna be going up against KD who's got the same championship pedigree Chris Paul's been there. Booker's been there. This is going to be an incredibly, incredibly fun series. And I, I just, I hope it happens because I, I need it in my life. And it can only happen in the Western Conference Finals. So I hope both these teams get there. I really do. And now moving down to Milwaukee and Philly. Um, I know what I said about Joel Embiid. And I know I said this was the year for him to make the run. But I do think if he gets through Boston that he's going to be stopped by Milwaukee. I think Milwaukee's the best team in the NBA. I think if Chris Middleton comes back, and he's playing at a high level, like, obviously we know he can. I don't think anybody can stop this team. I think they have the best, just, chemistry overall. It's hard to really put into words, but I just, I do think that they're the best team. In this particular series, I would take Milwaukee in seven, which would lead us to a Milwaukee-Golden State final, in which... I will be taking Milwaukee in seven. As much as I would love to see Steph win his fifth championship and be in the same conversation as like the top five ever, Magic, Kobe, Kareem, like in the conversation with those guys would be so cool to me. It's something I would love 
to just witness like and be alive for. But I do think Milwaukee is the better team. I think in a seven game series, they'll be able to wear Golden State down. I've thought about this matchup a lot because uh, this was this was my this was my finals pick going into the season. And it's kind of funny that it's kind of rolled out this way, even though I didn't know who I was going to have going into this. Either way, the playoffs this year, guys, we're in for a treat. I mean, it, it's going to be some of the best series in a long time. There's so many teams that could win the championship. I was telling my buddies, there are nine teams like on this board, nine of them, nine out of the 16, nine that I feel like could win the title this year. And I would not be surprised. And I'll, I'll name them for you if you want. Denver's one of them. Phoenix is one of them. The Clippers are one of them. So one, two, three, Golden State is four, Memphis is five, Lakers are six, and then out east, I think if Milwaukee, Philly, or Boston won it, I would not be surprised. Totaling nine teams that I feel like could win the championship, and I wouldn't be surprised. But at the end of the day, I'm picking Milwaukee in seven. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are as excited for the playoffs as I am. It is currently 1 p.m. I recorded this for 22 minutes. So I'm about to go and watch the first game, Philly versus Brooklyn. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.